Hi students, uh, the last class uh, we have studied about the architecture of uh, AVR microcontroller in which we have learned different types of uh, memories, uh, registers and all. Today uh, we will study about the memory organization. Memory organization of uh, Admega 32. Okay, memory organization of Admega 32. <clears throat> so, uh, as you can see, if you have learned last class, the memory uh, of uh, AVR is classified into two types that is, for one for code and one for data. One for code and one for data. And uh, this type of classification, this category of uh, microcontroller processor are called RISC that we have discussed last class. That means reduced instruction set uh, computers in which data and code are uh, stored in different places. Okay, here in AVR, code is stored in flash code is basically stored in flash memory and data is stored in uh, can be stored in registers can be stored in uh, ram and it can even store in eprom that is for uh, permanent storage this is for permanent storage okay for permanent storage you can use for eprom and uh, if you closely watch the registers, registers can be classified into two types that is uh, general purpose register, GPR, general purpose register and uh, other one is special function register, special function register. And uh, so that this is the basic memory organization or memory categories of uh, Atmega. 32 or in AVR in general. For Admega 32, the flash memory is 32 KB. This is why this is known as uh, Admega 32. The name came, 32 came from flash memory 32. Okay. And general purpose register, uh, there are 32 general purpose registers and 64 special function registers and RAM for Atmega 32 RAM is 2 KB and EPROM it is 1 KB from it is 1 KB so this is the different types of memory inside Atmega 32 once again code data code is nothing but the program okay and that is can be stored in flash of 32 KB size and data can be stored in registers, RAM, EEPROM. Remember, registers are fast and they are directly communicated to the accessible to the arithmetic logic unit. Okay, now uh, we will concentrate on flash, how this flash is organized. Okay, so uh, regarding, let us study on flash. Okay, flash ROM, flash is ROM, okay. Now, <clears throat> this flash ROM, uh, we can uh, represent it it's like this. There's a, a chunk of uh, registers, okay. A lot of registers are there. And uh, this can be classified into two categories. One is, one is for applications one is for our all our application purpose this area and uh, this small area is for boot loader okay and uh, if, you, if you closely watch uh, this first uh, address starts from 0x 0000 and uh, 
this uh, last end you can f end the end can be represented like f end that is flash end it's the last address flash end and what is bootloader uh, means for bootloader we need a special uh, protocol that is serial peripheral interface protocol uh, to program this flash memory and can also by you can use a universal asynchronous uh, receiver tran transceiver mode or i square c or even ethernet or if we can ethernet to program this uh, microcontroller using this bootloader or it or if you are directly using uh, downloading hex code then uh, you need not go for bootloader you can directly use the entire flash memory okay and <clears throat> this flash is actually it's of uh, size uh, 16 bits this word length is 16 bits that is uh, if you go for flash it's a chunk of two bytes two bytes means that is word what what is what is two bytes with word word addressable so flash memory inside at mega 32 is word addressable that is two bytes but uh, how this uh, stands is like this for example if we can if we are drawing like this then uh, this is 0, 1, 2, it will be like 15 memory, 0 to 15, that is 16. And uh, this is 1 byte, this is 1 byte. Okay. So, for example, if I am storing um, what is known as, uh, for example, uh, 8C. Suppose, suppose I am storing 8C, then what happens? C, C means, uh, sorry, sorry, not 8C, 8C, 0, 0, something like that. Then uh, this will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, uh, 1, 1, 0, 0. So this is 16 bit. This is 8, C, 0, 0. This is hexadecimal. Remember, this is hexadecimal. So uh, like that, 16 bit can be stored here. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, this is of if. I, I told you this is the entire flash is 32 KB since I am using two bytes then I can uh, you uh, it's only 16 KB is required because each contains two bytes okay thus the this end will be if we start from 0000, 0, 0, 0 then the 16 KB is equal to is equal to uh, 0x 3ff this is what i told you last class 3ff so this is actually 16k so this is zero if you start from 0000, 0, 0, 0 then that 3f ff it's not 32 address because each are doubled okay now uh, let us see so so far we studied about the flash memory we are talking about flash memory that is uh, 32 kb now we will learn about uh, ROM, so data, data memory, that is RAM, data memory of Atmega32. As I told you before, there are uh, registers, registers, RAM and EEPROM. And registers can be of uh, general purpose or special function register. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and general purpose, uh, it is uh, GPR, general, general, general purpose register or 32, that is from R0 to R31. If you, you have studied 8051 in last semester, so you know about these things. R0 to R31 or 32 general purpose register and a special function register R64 that include IO register that is DDRA, DDRB, timer register that is uh, 
input output memory register buffer registers timer register all those things okay and uh, this gpr is directly accessible to the alu they are very fast okay now uh, let us see how this uh, sfr and how this data memory is organized okay data so this is very important suppose uh, i am representing this as data memory actually this is a only representation okay picture representation of data memory actually it is not organized like this in a single block okay <clears throat> now uh, this is 8 bits each one is 8 bit in flash it was 16 bits it is not like here it is 8 bit here now it start from 0x 0 0 the first 31 that is 0x 0 1f that is 31 32 the first 31 that is uh, it is this is general purpose register all these are general purpose register g p r okay so that is r0 to r1 goes up to r31 there are 32 general purpose register then <clears throat> then uh, special function registers special function special function register How, there are 64 special function register so it start from uh, 0x0020 the next number very next number up to uh, 0x00 5f there are 64 5f now the remaining space is 2kb ram okay that is 2kb 2kb size okay 2kb size so this is a uh, this, this is uh, actually a conductor of some ram and ram and Uh, it's about two one four three, I think. Okay, and uh, there can be additional memory space if required. Additional registers, additional registers can be used, and it can go up uh, go up to f f f f f because it's a sixteen bit. So this is how a data memory is. organized inside at mega 32 this ram size can be with 2 kb in case of at mega 32 and carry very can vary for different avias okay and uh, uh, regarding eprom eprom is uh, actually 1 kb that we will learn in other class next class so uh, this is the memory organization of at mega 32 so uh, so we can uh, this is the basics what you have started can be classified in the code and that code can be stored in flash data can be stored in uh, registers or ram or eprom okay gpr gpr stands for general purpose register Yes, so far stands for special function register. Okay, don't confuse these things. Okay, so that's all for memory organization of at mega thirty two. If you understand these things, uh, you can deliver it in time. Thank you.